In 118 years, we have gone from the first flight of a powered aircraft by the Wright brothers to this weekend's test of powered aircraft on another planet. NASA's Ingenuity helicopter, which is about the size of a tissue box, is going to attempt the difficult task of flying in the red planet's thin atmosphere. Joining me on the morning show, NASA, Mars engineer Jeff Dulane. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Thank you so much for having me. Our pleasure. So the blades of glory, the rotor blades, have been unlocked, and Ginny is getting ready to go for a ride. And ultimately, this test is to see if you'll be able to deploy drones like this to explore Mars in places that drones can't go. That's completely right. So, like, we're hoping that this is going to be like the first flight of a drone on another planet. Um, so, like, happening Sunday, we're hoping to get the, the good data, like, uh, Monday morning here on Earth. And, uh, yeah, like, hoping for the best for now. So, should human explorers ever land on Mars, I've heard that these drones could be, you know, very useful in doing some, uh, you know, pre-exploration. Talk to me more about that. Ex yeah, exactly. So, like, you know, so having, like, you know, a sort of like a bird's eye view of, of like, where, where you will be going, like, you know, is, like, extremely useful. Like, you know, so you can imagine that they could, like, build a map, for instance, like, before the, like, future astronauts, like, would go somewhere. Uh, this could also be useful, like, you know, like, just to, like, for future science missions as well. Like, there's a lot of very cool science that you could do on such helicopters should we prove that they, these are feasible on Sunday. Now, I hinted at this when I introduce this segment, but uh, I'll let you unveil the secret. Ingenuity is carrying a bit of history with it, and it's pretty significant. Yeah, so we actually have like a piece of the of the cloth that was on the wing of like the first uh, Wright Brother flyers, like uh, 118 years ago. Like, you know, so we are we're, like hoping to be as, as successful as them to do like the first power flights on, on Mars, just as they did the first power flight here on Earth uh, last century. So it's going to be a fairly short flight, what, 90 seconds? But even though the flight is short, it's going to have long-term significance. Yeah, so it's it's up to 90 seconds, and the first flight is like the most critical for us. Like, and all, all we're gonna do is like, you know, like take off, go to about like 10 feet high, stay there for a while, do like a small turn, and then and then go down. But doing this, like just to be able to generate the lift on the very thin atmosphere of Mars and be able to control the helicopter, uh, knowing that everything needs to happen like autonomously on board, like it's just mass is way too far for us to be able to remote control it. That's that's the whole challenge. And so even though like it's a very short flight, there's a lot of things that, that need to go right uh, for, for this to happen uh, the way it should. And by the way, if people haven't seen it yet, that selfie that was taken with Ginny and the rover in the background, it, it was magnificent. Were you as impressed as I was? I, I was. This is like, you know, like so far everything has been going very, very well. And we're hoping to get an even better selfie, like, you know, on, on, on Sunday. So knocking on wood. We'll be watching. Jeff, thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you, Bruce.